Welcome back everyone. Today we are going to be doing the Pearson simulation for forecasting. Now in this simulation, we have to run a gas station and we have to do 24 months of projections doing it month by month. Just like with the project management simulation, we're going to have a lot of little extra details like phone calls, emails, and text messages, but we'll get all into that once this damn thing opens up after the next 10 years. So here it is. What a shock. Now, you can see as we blow it up, we have all of our graphs. We have everything here. This is actually really fortunate since this is one I already completed. I can actually walk you through all of the steps that go into this without actually having to play the game, which will make this video much, much faster for you. To begin with, we'll go through the UI. You can see here's your demand chart. Here is your error rate. Here is your tracking. And here's the part that matters. The object of this game is to come in under 25% absolute error rate, which is this bar here. But if you come in under 10%, you get a $10,000 bonus at the end of your contract. That's really the objective of this game is to be so good at forecasting that you come in under 10% and you get your 10 grand. When you begin this game, you get all of your welcome aboard emails. These are all very useless. You can ignore pretty much all of them except for this one here. We're going to come back to this one in a minute. Next, we have our text messages and you can see you'll get them from a bunch of different people. So starting in January, we have Sivana here and then in February going forward, up and up and up. Very cool. Next, we have the phone calls and these are just your boss. You can ignore literally all of these. They will have no bearing on the game whatsoever. In the first month, you are going to have to make your projections. You'll come up here to make a decision and you have three, three expert times. You can rely on somebody else to give you the answers. Basically, you don't really need this once you understand the process of the game, but it's good to have nonetheless. In our first month of January, we have to create our forecast. Now we will go to our market research and this will be one of the only times you ever use this, but we can see in January that they have less demand than normal. You can see here the price is affected. It drops by 10 cents. Uh, every drop in price of 10 cents go is 1% error or 1% affected, whatever. It doesn't matter. We just know that in January we have less demand going through that. We can come into our summary. Nope. Wrong thing. Go back to the simulation. We can come into our make decision and we can see that up here in the previous December, we had all of our different rates here. Now, when you hover over this, it will actually give you numbers, uh, not like it will now, because for me, it's already done. But I went through here and I saw what the demand was for regular, mid grade and premium. And I literally just dialed it in a little bit, plus or minus about 200. OK, so plus or minus 200. You want to keep the numbers fairly tight and fairly close together to what the previous to what the previous month was. So as we can see here, 8,000, 1550 and uh, 515. That was good. I came in really, really close. I forecasted 8,000 and it came in at 7,900 for mid grade. I came in at 15, uh, it was 1500. I per I projected and it actually came in at 1488. And for the premium, I got 515 and it was 496. These are all very good numbers in you just keep doing this month over a month. You kind of just keep dialing them in. You don't tweak them too heavily. Like look, 8,000 to 8,800, and then you have 8,900, but it came in at 9,000. After each month of forecasting, you will get an, you will get a text message from one of these idiots. And these people are the biggest pain in the ass. You can see here, this, this dumbass here, he said something about a hurricane. You will see every month, I don't know what super earth these people are living on, but every month there is something wrong with these people or with the world economy. It's very, very irritating, but in the end, it actually has no real significant bearing on how the game is played. These are all things they tell you, keep this in mind when you're forecasting, but you're not dictating price in this game. You don't dictate the price. You don't dictate anything. You're just ordering barrels of gas. So, you can ignore basically every single person here. You can ignore them a hundred percent. They won't affect you at all. And as you can see, I came in very close each and every month, except for this month here, you can see it says a thousand. It was clearly supposed to be 10,000. I just missed a zero. 
And this actually is what really hurt my score because I was sitting at about 4.2% on my absolute error rate. And this skyrocketed me up to like 7.9%. So, oh no, this skyrocketed me up to 8.2 and I clawed it down to 7.3 by the time it was all said and done. But the numbers are very easy. It's a very simple game. All you do is look at the previous month and recognize that in the summer months, it goes higher. In the winter months, it goes lower. But just track it down, up and down by about two to three, two to 400. Keep it there. So if it's 9,200, 9,600 is about where you want to stop and re reassess how it's going. That's really how you play this game. It's just balancing numbers and just kind of screwing with it. And don't be afraid to go with non zeros, 515, 580, 725. Don't be afraid of any of that because guess what? It might actually become in handy. Like you can see here, I did 11,425 and it came in at 11,149. It helps a lot. There was even a premium one where I almost got it bang on. And it came in, here we go. 525 and 512 that's that's about as close as it's gonna get <laughs> so there you guys go that is how you played this game it's very simple ignore the text messages you can ignore the calls ignore the emails none of that has any bearing just follow month over month your previous decisions to what is on this chart and if you really need to ask an expert just to kind of realign where you want to be and that's it there you guys go. I got 100 on this assignment, so I can guarantee you that it works. Guys, thanks so much for tuning in. I hope you guys like this video and make sure you hit that subscribe button and let me know if you want to see tutorials for any other kind of educational games. Have a good day, guys. Bye.